Control Perry Operating Instructions. Setting Time on the Control Perry Instrument. If the Control Perry is locked in a position that makes it difficult to get your fingers on the timing ring, insert the capstan bar into the holes on the timing ring to put enough time on the instrument to unlock it. This picture shows where the capstan bar holes are located on the timing ring. Now that the instrument is unlocked, hold it in your left hand and invert the gimbal to expose the timing ring. This picture shows the timing ring setting mark as well as the timing marks which are located on the bottom of the gimbal. The small short lines are 5 minutes, the longer lines are 10 minutes, and the dots are 30 minutes. A double dot is 60. Again, the timing mark is in its home position. Hold the troperi in your left hand. Using your thumb and index finger, hold and then rotate the timing ring and set the desired time. Always remember to return the timing ring to the far right rest or home position. Now that you have placed time on the instrument, it is ready to be placed inside the instrument container. On the side frame of the instrument is an arrow. This arrow must point to the bottom of the hole when placed inside the instrument container. Let's now look at how you take the readings from the Troperi instrument. Inclination reading. This picture shows the inclination scale markings on the inner frame. This is the zero degree mark. The short lines are 5 degrees. The long lines are 10 degrees. A single dot is 45 degrees. When the instrument locks, the protracted locking pin comes through the bottom of the gimbal and engages the teeth found on the protractor ring. This is where you take your reading. Each tooth is 1 degree. Azimuth or direction reading. The direction reading is taken from the compass face found on the top of the instrument. The two dots with the straight line in the middle is the reading mark for the azimuth on the Cholperi instrument. For more detailed operating instructions, please visit our website at www.pajeri.com.